Quite a difference from their last concert at the end of sixth grade, eh? <laughs> that was uh, something that we talked about just today. Just what a complete difference just a couple months uh, with full band every day does. It's just a totally different band, and they, they're having so much fun with it. Speaking of fun, that's our next song. And this is actually one of the songs that we, uh, every now and then I, li I give the kids a little ownership in the band program, and I let them vote on this one. This is the one they wanted to play. This is called Christmas Fun, and it's a medley of several different holiday songs.
Thank you again. The next song, March Into Christmas, is a, a real fun one for the students. It has two different songs in it, and you'll e instantly recognize the songs that we're going to be playing. Uh, more importantly, it gave us a chance to work with a different style of music. Uh, it introduced us to March style, which we're going to be playing a lot more of as we prepare for band festival when we get the two schools together. Um, it has a nice uh, percussion break in the middle, and it has some really nice uh, trumpet playing in the beginning. This is called March Into Christmas. supposed to have been a trumpet duet at the beginning and one of our students was out ill today so if you would please help me recognize Todd Christopher on a trumpet solo in that last piece. <laughs> this is an exciting piece of music. This is the next song, Little Drummer Boy. It's a very different change of mood. You'll instantly notice that with a real heavy low wind writing that the, 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 the composer used in this song. Also, you're going to notice some really interesting percussion, uh, use of percussion instruments, including our large, our new large bass drum, as well as some finger cymbals and tom-tom effects. This is a little jungle boy.
great. All of the, uh, the next piece, obviously, instantly recognizable by everyone, especially the littlest ones in the audience. This is Frosty the Snowman. It's a fun arrangement of it. Just straight ahead, just like you remember it. Some really fun percussion in this piece, so just pay attention for that. seventh grade portion and at the end of that we're going to just ask you for your patience while we switch the groups we're going to have a select woodwind ensemble that's going to share some great music with you and a jazz band that's going to also play and then of course our eighth grade band but the seventh grade I'm just really excited about their their future with the band program they're playing very very well they rehearse wonderfully and um, are just doing just doing a great job with their instruments. If you could just help me again recognize their efforts. <laughs> they should feel really good about their accomplishments. Now we're going to share just a, a just a really fun piece at this time of the year. Uh, it's maybe not looking like winter wonderland outside quite yet, but hopefully it will be soon. This is Winter Wonderland.
everybody as a very gentleman.
song, The Holly and the Ivy, is a traditional, very, very, probably the oldest song that we're going to play in this entire concert in medieval days. Uh, this was popular in the area now known as England. Um, and this song features, it's a piece in 3-4 time signature, and features a really neat interplay between the flute and clarinet at the beginning, very delicate percussion writing, and then at the end of this piece, there's a four-part polyphonic part on top of part. You can hear a lot of different mixed up parts that are all organized and it's going to sound really neat. Uh, this is called Holly and the Ivy. change of pace. The next piece you're going to hear is Christmas Concerto number three. I think it's called number three because I don't think the, the composer wrote three of these. I think it's because there are actually three soloists in it. Uh, they're going to be playing three traditional songs and it's going to feature three uh, three of our band students in the program. Um, 
just like any concerto you would ever hear if you went to hear the Detroit Symphony Orchestra or any band or any orchestra, uh, a concerto is when a soloist, whether it's piano soloist, violin soloist, is accompanied by a full group like an orchestra. In this case, it's going to be a band accompanying them. So you hear the soloist prominently, and actually we're going to ask them to come to the front of the stage. Uh, uh, please help me in welcoming Alex Gillespie, Alicia Randall, and Amanda Randall. Next piece we're going to play, we're going to share um, a, just a standard made famous by Louis Armstrong. Uh, a lot of jazz bands play this, um, but I thought it was a really cool arrangement for a, a sit-down concert band. This is What a Wonderful World.
just a great evening of music. Just, just from our hearts to yours. We hope you have a wonderful, safe, pleasant holiday season. And next time we see you, we'll of course have a beautiful new building. Uh, the memories of Beecher will still be with us, but we've got some wonderful new traditions. We're looking forward to combining our band with the web band. A lot of really fun, exciting challenges ahead of us with that too. So without further ado, this is a Christmas wish.